Hey guys, thanks for watching Homesteading on the Side, and tonight to go with dinner, we're going to make some stuffed zucchini boats. So for this recipe, we're going to need some olive oil, some basil, I'm going to use dried basil today, I don't feel like going out to the garden, so dried basil it is, um, salt and pepper, um, some mushrooms, I'm not going to use this whole package, I'm only going to use about three or four of these, um, onion, garlic, parmesan, and then I've, these are all going to be cut in half. And there's going to be six of us that don't need to eat one. So I'm just going to make one half for each person. So I've got three zucchini here. And just feel free to use as many or as little as you need for your family. Um, like I said we have six that will be eaten. So I'm just going to cut them in half and do one, I guess, boat for each person. Let's get started. All right. So what I did is I just cut them in half and I scooped them out. Um, I just used a spoon. And I just dug it through and took all the filling out. Um, you don't want to pierce the skin, but you do want to take as much of the filling out as you can. And what I've done is I just saved it here on the side. Um, I'm going to just dice this up um, pretty small, and I'm this is going back into the zucchini. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into the oven for about 10 minutes or so, just until they're kind of soft, because right now they're still firm, and I want them to be soft. So I'm going to put them in for about 10 minutes or so, and while those are cooking, I'm going to dice up my onions, my garlic, the um, zucchini, and my mushrooms. I'll be right back. All right, so I have chopped all the inside zucchini pieces down. I have uh, cut the mushroom, just diced it up, the onions and the garlic. And what I'm going to do is start getting my skillet heated up. Add a little bit of olive oil. And when this heats up, I'm going to add, uh, first I'll start with my onions and garlic, and I'm going to throw the basil in. Now, I'm using dried basil today, um, just laziness, don't feel like going out to the garden. Um, and I'm going to throw this in the oil with the onions and garlic. This will help bring out the flavors and help um, flavor the dish because they're dried. But if you were using fresh, you will need to wait until after all this is fried and then put it in at the end. Because if you put fresh basil in there, it will burn very quickly and then it'll be bitter and it'll be yucky. So um, because it's dried, like I said I throw it in with the oil and just let it sit for just a few seconds because this will also burn and become very bitter. So, but it helps um, when you fry it just for a couple seconds, helps kind of release the oils in it. So I'll be right back when this is ready to go. All right, onion and garlic in the pan, and they're soft, and this is where I was telling you, go ahead and take your the basil, add it to the pan, and stir it around for just a minute. If it doesn't want to burn, make sure you keep it moving. And now I'm going to add my mushrooms and zucchini. And then I'm just going to saute all this together just until it, it gets soft. So we'll be back when it's all cooked down. Sorry guys, forgot to mention. Do not forget to salt and pepper what's in the pan. Um, the salt will help break down and tenderize everything. And then there's nothing worse getting to the table and trying a bite of something that you work so hard to prepare and thinking, man, this needs a little bit of salt. So make sure that you season very well every time that you add stuff to the pan. So I'm going to add, throw in some salt and pepper in here and then cook this down until it's nice and tender. So I pulled them out of the oven. They were in for about 10, 15 minutes-ish. And you can see that they're much more tender. Um, they're not soft, but they are a little more tender. And I wanted to show you guys, when you see this, when you start cooking the zucchini and stuff, see how watery it is? Don't, don't be discouraged. Um, it, zucchini and mushrooms both put off a lot of water, and you don't want all that in your filling. So just keep on um, cooking it until the water comes out. Now, I know to make it tender, a lot of people put a lid on it, but don't put a lid on it because that will trap the moisture and the water in. And we, so we want it to evaporate. So just, I know it's tender, but just keep on cooking a little bit longer to get most of that water out of there. That way it doesn't give you super soggy zucchini. All right, so what's right? You can see that the, the liquid pretty much came out of it. And I have just added it to a bowl here. Now what I'm going to do is add, 
add as much cheese as you like. <laughs> um, I was going to put about a quarter cup, but we really like cheese, so I'm going to add, that, that's probably more like half a cup, and stir it in, and the cheese is going to melt, and this, we are going to stuff the zucchinis with this here, and then I'm going to add the cheese on top. So let me get my assembly line, and I'll be right back. All right, so here the zucchini, and then just spoon it right in. You know what? I didn't even think about it. I'm going to try this next time. I'm going just to take some sausage and make, put sausage in these, and that could be a main course. I did not even think about it. That'd be really good. But there is one. And then just take a little bit of Parmesan cheese, sprinkle it over the top, and this is ready for the oven. And I've got um, the main course for dinner. The um, I'm making um, mushroom and Parmesan steaks. Um, I'll leave the card for it. That's what I'm I'm making to go with these. And um, these once they're filled you could even put these in the fridge for the for a day before, ahead of time and let them just kind of sit um but these these are these are done for me until i'm ready um ready to start serving so about 10 or so minutes before i start serving i will pop these in the oven just to warm them through and to melt the cheese so um let me get these done and we'll be back so I already pulled them and started serving. Sorry guys, but here's what they look like when they're done. They're all brown and melted on top. And they're soft and tender and they're ready to eat. Hope you enjoy.